You've been an entrepreneur for quite a while, you know, and uh, what is it that drives you? I mean, this is a mad rat race, right? Of course, there's success and there's equal amount of failures as well, but what does it mean to you? What does entrepreneurship mean to you and why do you keep doing it, you know, time and time again? Well, I think that's the only thing people should be doing. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't know, you know, this whole corporate, uh, you know, jungle which you, which you work in and I don't know how people survive that, really speaking, <laughs> because it's very, very, you know, monotonous, it's, it's, it's very, very stayed, fixed. That's my, you know, my belief. I've done this for many, many years, right. but, you know, the corporate life, mm -hmm. the corporate job. So, you know, actually, frankly, what, what really keeps me going is the fact that you're building something. Mm -hmm which is very different, mm. which can add a lot of value to consumers mm. and that's what gives you the thrill. Right? Today, every customer complaint mm. hurts you, right? So you're you are very consumer focused. So you know you're making a big difference, mm. right? To lives of people, mm. right? By actually delivering them, you know, essentials like groceries home. Mm. Because it's a big pain buying groceries, right? So that's one thing that keeps you going because you're you are, you are really trying to build something of great value mm. to consumers. Building something into something which is sustainable, profitable, and which people look up to and say, "Wow, mm -hmm. great company!" Mm -hmm. is the kick actually to get. Right? So, mm -hmm. so, if you work in, uh, uh, in, in in some Tatas or in some some great, you, you do a great project. You know, people would you know uh, still look at say, "Great, LND is a great company, right?" So, <laughs> so, just the thrill of having to do something new, having to do something different, having to be able to contribute to lives. Mm. Is, is very is very crucial. Actually, we had a you know we had a couple of years back. I met Sudhakar and I was telling him that you know one opportunity that we should try and look at is you know is there a business model around helping companies use their CSR funds effectively? Okay. 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 So I you know we thought that there's a great model, but at that time the CSR investments had not become mandatory, so there are mm. not companies which are doing it. But there are companies who make large investments. Mm. So if we look at CSR budgets which a Tata puts aside. Frankly, the person who's sitting there mm -hmm. is not really clued into as to what's the best way of utilizing it. Right. Whereas, if we come in the middle in a transparent manner, mm -hmm. help them invest those funds mm -hmm. in areas that makes a huge difference mm -hmm. to society, and in the and in the and in a sense makes the corporate feel good that I'm now contributing, mm -hmm. rather than put some ten lakhs into an NGO, put some other ten lakhs into some food, something, something. It's like it's like you're cutting a check for charity, right? Right. Right. And that's the simple thing to do. Is that yes. something you want to do? So yeah, we may want to. So mm -hmm. I so so stuff like this, you know, it's like you actually are helping somebody, right. you know, contribute and add value to uh, to a project, and you are just being there in the middle with, with, with new ideas, new thoughts, mm -hmm. and helping the corporate invest effectively. So it's one of the ideas. So, so the thrill then is to kind of make a difference, not to a somewhere you're making to Tata's money mm -hmm. and to the person that you are investing the money into, right? So right. some you know uh, some NGO. So. I think the whole kick lies in the fact that you know you're building something of value mm -hmm. from an organization perspective. So you are building it. There is valuation, there is profitability, there is there is money, mm -hmm. it's a for-profit business mm -hmm. in basket. Mm -hmm. There is all of that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of it, you know, you're building a valuable business that's that's really today delivering groceries to fifty thousand customers. You know, we're at fifty thousand customers today. Which is good. Which is good.